Hey guys, gonna do a quick product review video here of something that I just got for Christmas. Uh, the Griot's Garage Detailing Garage Creeper Seat Stool. Uh, so like I said, start the video out, I'm gonna show you some thumbnails here of some of the typical creepers and seats that a lot of guys have been using for years in the garage, uh, ranging from the generic one that you would get when you buy like uh, a lay down creeper. Sometimes you buy them as a kit, then they'll give you a creeper seat with it. You know, really cheap. Uh, you know, they serve their purpose, but you know, it's, it is what it is. And then they come out with some higher tech ones with ergonomically styled seats. Uh, those all, like I said, they all do the same thing. They all have the same purpose. And then uh, this company called a 4 tech uh, it's, I think it's called 4 tech came out with this heavy-duty uh, detailing stool, which I ended up buying a couple of years ago. The biggest mistake I ever made in my life because it's over $200 plus shipping. And I'm going to show you in a few moments as to why I don't ever recommend any of you guys ever buying this other one. Uh, then the Griot showed up. And uh, like I said, I, I tried to use it today. And there's quite a couple of things that I like about it. There's a couple of things that I dislike about it. And I'm going to go over everything here today. And I'm going to show you uh, that this is probably the best solution. And I would say also the safest solution. And you're going to figure out why I say safest solution in a couple of moments when I discuss the other one that I have there. And we're going to walk you through the video. So let me just uh, grab the camera off the tripod. And on the left side, I got a bunch of different bottles and sprayers and everything else. And I'm going to show you how versatile and how poorly designed some of the storage compartments are on both of these units here. Uh, but as I said, I don't think you're going to buy one of these units for the storage. You're really going to buy it to clean your wheels, to detail the bottom end of your car, and uh, you know, just keep yourself from kneeling on the floor, which actually, as you get older, could be really bad for your knees. So let me grab the camera over, and I'm going to show you a little bit about what I'm talking about. Okay, as you can see, these are the bottles that we're going to show some testing. I got everything from Griot spray bottles, uh, the Zep spray bottles, Chemical Guy spray bottles, some aerosol cans, some Griot's polish, some 3M polish, uh, can of wax, and everything else. So this is the, uh, I call this, the most dangerous thing to have anywhere near an expensive car. And I'm going to zoom out, and uh, this thing is made of tubular steel. It weighs about 25, 30 pounds. It does not roll good at all, even though it's got six casters with ball bearings. But to be honest with you, by design, if you look at it carefully, the way this thing is welded, everything is welded at an angle. So it's putting these wheels at a weird pitch. And I think that's just a design flaw with this particular creeper. And I just can't believe that I paid 200 and something dollars for it from uh, AutoGeek.net a couple of years ago. And this is the second purchase I made from AutoGeek that I have regretted. And uh, I'll do a video of the other purchase one day when I resurrect it out of the attic. Uh, so here's what happened with this creeper. It doesn't roll very good. I'm going to go over a couple of things. I'm even going to measure the seating height for you guys. So this one is measuring about 19 inches tall. The Griots and most of the other creeper seats are a lot lower. And I just think this is a little bit too high. Another thing that I think is a huge problem on this design is this, this backrest. Yes, you can remove it, but then you have the sharp edges here, which becomes another issue. You gotta understand something, guys. This is made out of steel. What happens is this will, and it has, will roll into a car and cause damage. So let me show you a close-up here. Let me bring it closer and tilt the camera down. So you guys may see a little bit of white paint right here all along this area. So when I first bought this creeper, I had it in the shop. We just finished painting a 1993 Porsche RS America in white. This was on the other side of another car we were working on. One of the guys working for me pulled on the pneumatic air hose, which got caught under the wheels, and sent this thing flying into the Porsche, and it actually damaged the driver's side door and the driver's side fender. This thing was taken out of the shop immediately and stashed in my attic up until today of shooting this video for you guys. Uh, I really want to get rid of this thing. 
If anybody in the local New York metro area wants it, send me a message and I will work out a deal and maybe even give it away to you. I don't want this thing anywhere near me or any of my cars. I'm going to show you now. Let me move this over. I'm going to get this out of the way. So you can see in the camera what will end up happening here. Okay, being that this backrest is so tall, this easily could take out any body panel around your car very, very easily. And if you think that this is not going to roll into your car, think again. It's going to happen. That's just the way it is. Uh, whether your kids, your pets, uh, you pull on the hose, uh, you know, washing your car, something's going to happen that is going to send this thing flying into your car and you're going to regret the day that you ever bought it. I'm just letting you guys know now, this is why I think this is dangerous. As soon as I'm done with this video, I'm disassembling it, throwing it back up in the attic. It's just a 30 pound paperweight right now to me. I uh, just don't want it anywhere near my cars. So I'm just going to show you some of the storage compartments. Um, and that's probably one of the only good things about it. As you can see here, you know, you got plenty of storage. You know, you can put cans, you know, Avion bottle of water, which is usually pretty large, fits in there really nicely. You can put your can, you know, can of wax, your polish is here. I mean, this thing, the only thing I could say about it is that the storage is outstanding because it's versatile. The way the storage compartments are designed, it just makes a hell of a lot of sense. That's the only thing good that I could say about this. Even spray bottles, you know, they fit, no problem. Uh, the Griot's Garage has the larger spray bottle. We could tuck that in there. And even this fits in there, no problem. Spin it around, you have a compartment here, you could put your wheel brushes, fine. Uh, you have another compartment up here, you could put your wax pads, uh, your detailing clay, whatever. So storage, it's a good design for storage. It's just a dangerous design. You know, you have some sharp edges here. You have metal, you have sharp edges all around here. Uh, back up here where it's got the grip handle, you know, you have sharp edges up here. All of these things have to be taken in consideration because this will smash into your car and wreck it. And uh, that's why I don't use this and I never did. I never actually used this for uh, working on cars. I bought it, I assembled it, had it in the shop for like three days. It caused damage, it cost me a lot of time and money to refinish that car. And uh, this thing has been up in my attic ever since. So it still has, uh, still wears the war wound here of hitting the, uh, the RS America Porsche. So I'm gonna move on over. I'm gonna show you the Griot's uh, creeper seat. Storage absolutely sucks. I'm gonna show you why. These little storage compartments, you can't really put anything here. Maybe coins, may I mean, a, a detailing brush is not gonna fit here. Let me show you. So. I got some brushes in here. I mean, you know, you could throw them in there like that, but I'm gonna tell you, the more you wheel this thing around, these brushes are gonna go flying out, uh, totally useless. I think storage sucks on this unit. Now, one cup holder, I call these cup holders, is larger than this one. So this one, you can put a can of aerosol, you could put a Griot's Garage polish bottle, no problem. You can put a Chemical Guys smaller spray bottle, no problem. You cannot put something like this. That doesn't fit in there very well. 3M, that does not fit at all. And uh, let me see. Chemical Guys larger spray bottle does not fit at all. And Zep Professional Spray Bottles does not fit at all. So... You could pretty much only use one end of these compartments. This one, I don't know what you would actually put in here because nothing I own, even the smallest bottle here, it just doesn't fit. So I think if you're buying this for storage, you're wasting your time. This little guy's pretty good uh, in here. I got some, you know, just through this for demonstration purpose, I got some wax, wax pads, nothing crazy. But what makes this creeper stool better is the overall height that I'm going to show you. So the other one I just showed you is, is uh, the 19 inches. This one is 14 and a quarter, okay? That's like five, that's a five inch difference. And this is more comfortable when you're working on the wheels or the lower body panels of the car, whether it's an SUV or a sports car, I think this is better. I do wish that Griot's would have made this into a hard 
molded polyurethane like foam material, but it's not. It's just like a injected molded uh, thermoplastic. A little disappointed in that. I think uh, they should have thought this out or maybe put a rubber strip all the way around here. You have to take this in consideration. I'm a product designer. I know this stuff. I'm the one that actually made them redesign the wash mop many years ago. Um, and like I said, it's just one of those things that I think this could be made better. This is about 80 bucks plus shipping. And I've been eyeing it up for a while. It's got, the casters are outstanding. They roll super smooth. You have two casters with brakes. And uh, overall, I just think this is the, this is the way to go. And they're, the manufacturer of this is done, these are made in Taiwan. They're not made in China. And this one came fully assembled. Uh, there's another seller. You could buy a black version of this uh, on Amazon for about the same price. But either or, like I said, you know, you're not buying this for storage, like like I'm showing you here. It's just not not that effective, uh, you know, for auto detailing storage. I think the compartments are too small. And I guess maybe if you want to keep a beer or a bottle of water in there, but like I said, that that just doesn't work for me. But uh, I would probably recommend just you know popping these things off and uh, using it without it because uh, they don't really serve much of a purpose. But overall, I think this is a great uh, creeper seat. I haven't had one in like 15 years. I used to use the old ones back in the days, but uh, like I said, I just stopped using them. And then when I bought that expensive piece of junk that I showed you uh, in the video, and it damaged a very expensive car that we worked on, it uh, disappeared from my life and my shop, and I never used it again. So I uh, hope you guys like this quick video, just showing you. I mean, some of you guys have been eyeing this stuff up. This is like, you know, always shown in every Griot's catalog that some of you guys might get 10 times a month like I do. Um, you know, it's a pretty good piece. It's got good casters. It's well made. Yeah, it's most likely overpriced like everything else, but I would have preferred a better seat. And I'll show you something here that I did. Being that it doesn't have a cushion, I actually took this from something else at work, and it's just a leather cushion with some thin foam, and this will just make it a little bit more bearable if you're on this thing for a long time. But like I said, I, I, I've used it already a few times. I like it. it. It rolls good. It's safe. And let me just show you rolling this thing into the car. Okay. Okay, so look, you can see there. So the useless cup holder hits the bottom spoiler and the seat does not hit the car. And even if it does hit the car, I'd rather have plastic hit the car than something that weighs three times the weight and has sharp edges and it's metal. So I wouldn't be too scared having this thing roll into my car versus the other one by Fortec uh, for 200 plus dollars. So uh, hope you guys like this video. Just remember the storage and uh, cubbies on both ends of this, totally useless, they suck. This little storage drawer, it's pretty good to hold wax pads and you know miscellaneous stuff. And uh, like I said, if you get uncomfortable with it, just find yourself a little cushion, put it on there, and call it a day. But uh, that's the review of the Griot's Garage Creeper Seat, and it rolls effortlessly on any surface, whether it's my high gloss painted garage floor, the asphalt in the driveway, on rough concrete. I tried it on every surface. The, the key to that are the casters. They have a softer durometer, so it, ro it rolls a lot smoother, and there's ball bearings in here. And, uh, you know, good casters go a long way. The other creeper, the expensive one, uses, uh, like, roller skate wheel casters or roller blade wheel casters with ball bearings, but by design, it rolls like crap. Uh, it just, everything about it sucks. So, uh, that's it. Another video, guys. Any questions, comments, post them in the, in the uh, comment section below. See you guys soon. Autofanatic at yahoo.com.